Welcome back to the cafe. With me today is Andrew Maffey from Hope and Sons Funeral Directors in Dunedin and we are going to lift the lid on embalming. Welcome to the cafe Andrew. Thank you for having me. Really nice to have you here because I think this is a fascinating subject that needs some discussion. So what got you into the funeral business? Um, I went through school with a couple of uh, Hope boys uh, and used to go to their house after school um, and their father at the time, um, Derek Hope, he was the managing director of the company uh, and I guess he sort of uh, changed the perception of what I thought a funeral director was like. I thought they would be scary mm. uh, <laughs> undertakers From as movies, such. that's what you think. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But he was just a nice, genuine, um, friendly, natural person. And I just thought, well, that's maybe something. So it piqued my interest at that time. Uh, and then I got an opportunity to get into the industry uh, a little bit further down the track uh, through knowing some of the family. I actually am married to a Hope, uh, ah. Philippa, my wife. Um, and so with that, an opportunity came up and I decided to give it a try. It was something I wasn't sure whether it would be mm. something I could do or not. Uh, it's not the sort of job that you know until you try it. Um, exactly. But yeah, I sort of, it's 18 years ago now and I wouldn't be doing anything else. I love it. You must yeah. be doing something right then. <laughs> so tell me a little bit, can you explain to me what embalming is? So embalming is a process of uh, circulating a preservative fluid around the arterial system within the body um, and that uh, preserves the body and stops any breakdown of the body in terms of uh, the time of death through until the funeral time. So. Okay, so obviously for viewing that, that's a, that's a, that's a big thing. <laughs> it is. is it common to be embalmed in New Zealand? Uh, reasonably common, yes. I'd say probably uh, in my uh, experience around 80% to maybe even more than that uh, of people are embalmed. Yeah, yeah. And what it does is it gives people the opportunity to spend time with their loved one. There's a couple of reasons for embalming. Um, there's the, the preservation side of things, which means that people can comfortably mm. um, view, uh, touch a person, uh, those sorts of things. Uh, and then there's the presentation side, which involves the, um, the cosmetics and just uh, here, helping to make mm. somebody look look nice and relaxed. And there is a real skill to that too because you want yes. them to look as they were. That's you, know, you want those memories to stay intact. That's right. Viewings, mm. is that something, do many people request viewings? Yes, that's fairly common as well. I'd say probably similar percentage, up around 80 or 90% of families would, would come in and, and view and spend some time with, with their loved ones. So uh, it's a it's a nice part of the grieving process, you know, it really is. Mm, and it's a funny thing because it's quite often you don't realise that you're going to want to do the viewing until someone that you really love has passed and then you realise it is a great part of that grieving process. Right. Are there any rules around viewings? Uh, no, there's not. No, anyone can view um, and we encourage it. Uh, it's not for everyone, it's a personal decision. Mm. Like you say, people can be a bit nervous about it. Um, but we try and step people through that as, as just easily as we can uh, and explain uh, the step and, and, and they'll come in to see mum or dad uh, in the casket, mm. uh, dressed in their clothes. And viewing's come a long way. I mean, it, it, uh, now people are dressed in their own clothes. Mm. Uh, we, we try our best to, to restore them to um, their natural look, uh, which might have been taken away from them when they've been in hospital or a hospice mm. over, over that last period of their life. So. Nice My dad was in a Hawaiian shirt, <laughs> right? Nice. And it was yeah. perfect. What about children? Do the, are they encouraged to view, or is that part of the family's preference? Um, it's it's a decision for families, and they're often a wee bit nervous about it. But uh, we certainly encourage it. Mm. Um, it. It used to be, and I think it was just something that. Um, people thought was probably correct was just to keep children away from from death in a way yeah. uh, so it used to be grandma was there one day and the next she wasn't which probably in mm. hindsight wasn't the best no. and kids are resilient you know and they're great they come in uh, they ask questions and um, they they touch and they realize that grandma or granddad's cold and they wonder why and mm. you can explain that their body stopped working and therefore it is cold and it's a good way for them to process the whole exactly um, part of that grieving process, process. Mm. so how do you restore someone to make them look more lifelike because obviously that's what you're after sure um, well part of the embalming process there are um, there's a preservative factor to that uh, there's also other fluids within that embalming um, chemical that uh, help with uh, there's dyes and conditioners that help help just to make people look more natural and then we've got the cosmetics as well and, and part of that is just to restore people back to a natural look when, when somebody dies they're mm. very pale mm. because the blood stopped circulating around their body so they're pale um, so the, the um, 
the skill with, with the cosmetics is to make people um, just look natural, not, exactly. not over, overly done. And there is a really big <laughs> skill to that it one. Certainly is. So yeah. it sounds like there's lots of options to choose from and a few decisions for families to make around embalming and viewings, isn't there? Mm. There is, and it's completely personal preference, mm. you know, um, and, and uh, we, we try and explain the, the, the benefits of embalming um, because it does give people time. Uh, uh, if they decided that they wanted to have their loved one at home, for example, then um, embalming is really necessary to, mm. to prevent any issues occurring while they're at home. And that's a lovely time for people to have, have a family member at home and all gather together and, and just be a family together and, mm. and, and remember. Absolutely. Yeah. It's what we did with my father and it was incredibly beneficial for all of us. Nice. Well, that's nice. been enlightening. I hope it's enlightened a lot of people too watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. And very fascinating to learn about embalming. Now, for more information on embalming and funerals at Hope and Sons, plus get a free brochure or advice on your options around planning a funeral, you can contact Andrew at Hope and Sons on 03 455 5074 or hopeandsons.co.nz. And you can find them on Facebook as well, facebook.com forward slash Hope and Sons Funeral Directors.